guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lelo Masumpa if you're new here welcome 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 please do consider joining the family by clicking the red subscribe button down below if it's red you are not subscribed and subscribing is absolutely free and if you're a returning subscriber welcome 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 i'm sure you guys have seen um by the first part of this video what this video might be about you saw i went out and i went out to buy a few notebooks yes a few um for the purpose of this video so i decided to share with you guys how many notebooks do i keep in a year and what do i use them for without wasting time i would love to read a scripture that will be reference for this video it's in habakkuk 2 2 and it says then the lord answered me and said write the vision down and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it will speak and it will not lie though it tarries wait for it because it will surely come and it will not tarry the my favorite part in this is that write the vision down and i would love to share a few pointers with you before we get into the notebooks that i keep and what i keep them for i would love to mention that um it's important to keep at least one you don't have to keep as many as i do at least I keep keep one book notebook it doesn't have to be expensive that you write everything in it and i must say that most of us will say um i have my plans and i have my things on my phone and whatever on my samsung notes on, on my apple notes or whatever but i will mention that it's very important that you keep them on paper it's very very important that you keep them on paper because if it's not written down it's definitely not a vision even the scripture says in habakkuk 2 2 that write the vision down if it's not put down on paper it's not a vision let's get into the notebooks that i keep the first one is this one it's cute it's giving and i like the cover it's giving boss lady strong woman right i keep this particular book and it even has my name on it how cute i keep this particular book for my emotional mental dump if i can say that i use this to put down my feelings i use this as a diary i use this to write the things that i don't want to talk to people about and the things that i feel like you know what i just need to offload my thoughts my emotions and this is the book that i use for that and then the second book is let me see which one is this one okay this i use for sermons it's written be productive not easy i use this for sermons for bible study anything related to the word of god i put it down in here and then the third one is like the fact that it's written the key to success is i wrote the key to success is knowledge and this i use to write notes when i'm reading books whichever book it may be as so long as it's a book it goes in here and then this one I love the fact that it's even written happiness diary and the quote says try not to become a man of success but rather try to become a man of value i am intending to use this book as my gratitude journal i'm gonna use this book to write either at the end of the day or at the beginning of the day i'm gonna write a few things that i'm grateful for on that particular day some people say it makes sense to write it at the beginning some say at the end of the day it doesn't matter for me and you can choose which one works best for you and this one this one is my favorite it says flow with it i'm sure you can even see the lighting is just there we go i am go i call this one my dream book this one i call it my dream book because this is where i write all the plans that i intend to 
implement whether it's for business for content creation whatever and i like the fact that it does have these dividers in it that i can separate from content creation and whatever work that i need to do whatever work that i need to do i am keeping this for life this one i'm keeping for life because um obviously i'm gonna write plans for the next two months for the next two weeks for the next two years for the next two decades so this i'm keeping for life the reason why i wanted to share with you guys this is because um we are into the new year and obviously everyone is just starting to change a few things trying to implement a few things start businesses do this do that do that and honestly i've learned in the past year that we can't really trust our minds and like i said at the beginning of this video that if it's not written down it's not a vision and i noticed in the past year that there are a lot of things that i didn't eventually do because i never put them down on paper and i must say that if it's a plan um let me say if you say you want to get in shape you can't just write that you have to properly break down everything in plans but i really really do encourage you guys to keep your your notebooks to put down everything that you plan to do on pen and paper on that note another thing that i really love about keeping these notebooks these journals is that they keep you accountable and they help you like be able to reflect on the things that you said you wanted to do and have now accomplished it keeps you in progress it keeps you in motion you can see okay i've achieved five steps into this thing i still have three more to go i'm almost there i'm almost done it really keeps you motivated and some of the things like when you go through them you're like wow god you really did that for me i only wrote this thing at the beginning of the year and look now we are into the year six months later and it's already done it really keeps you motivated and it helps just keep your faith up in god that things do really happen like these things do really come true but because i don't want to prolong this video even further i would love to end it here and there really, there really is so much more that i could discuss in terms of planning putting down your ideas and just making the vision plain like the scripture says making the vision clear and plain and i think i would do that in i would talk about that further in my next video talking about um making a vision board i am not going to make a vision board with you guys i honestly believe that there's a lot of videos on youtube for that but what i will do is um share a few pointers uh, that are important to know for everybody before you start doing your vision board i believe in that and i believe it's a way of the way of visualizing the vision and the desires that you have that god has put in your spirit without wasting your time guys without mumbling and rambling i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one don't forget to like to comment and to subscribe